Welcome to the Mandel Valley. My name is Xavi and I will be your guide today. I wanted to share some details on how I created this environment in Unreal Engine 5. Now, the first thing you should know is that everything in this demo is being ray traced in real time. All the direct lighting, indirect lighting, reflections, bounds, everything is being ray traced in real time. None of these objects have light maps and none of the lighting Nothing at all has been like pre-computed uh, or is using ambient occlusion. This scene has over 3 billion polygons, uh, which is quite a lot. I generated the meshes in Houdini and each was between 15 and 50 million polygons for a total of about 150 million polygons. And some of them I imported and copy pasted and duplicated around. For example, this central mandel bulb has over half a billion polygons. Now, the first question is, how is Unreal doing this? How is it rendering this in real time? And that is thanks to Nanite. Now, what is Nanite? Let me show you what happens if I turn it off. Now we're only seeing one in a thousand triangles. And this is what the game engine proxy model would look like without any textures or normal maps. And this just gives an idea of how high poly these objects are. So high poly indeed that I didn't need to bake any normal maps whatsoever. Now check this out. Through some trickery we can draw each of the triangles in a different color. And if you look closer you'll see how as I move the camera the triangles are sort of being remeshed in real time. It may be hard to spot if you're having a lot of compression from YouTube. The idea behind this is to keep the number of triangles on screen constant and to only draw as many triangles as is strictly necessary to resolve the shapes. So for instance, as I get back, the central piece of the Mandelbrot will get fewer and fewer triangles. So Unreal is trimming the geometry to the GPU in real time and the way it's doing that is by using clusters. Now, we can visualize these clusters. These are the clusters that Unreal is drawing. And what it's trying to do, the algorithm, is keeping the number of clusters constant on screen space. So as I move around and get closer and further back, you can see that the clusters are sort of merging together or splitting into smaller ones. What this ends up meaning is that the render time is constant, is dependent on the screen resolution and not on the number of polygons in the scene. So the render time ends up being pretty much constant no matter the viewing angle. Let me show you what the original meshes look like from Houdini. So each of these colored uh, clusters is one Alembic or FBX file that's coming from Houdini into Unreal. And here you can see the overdraw mode. So uh, the areas that are purple, that are dark, only are drawing one triangle per pixel. But you can see that because these meshes are very complex, some areas are drawing like three, four, or five triangles in a single pixel. And just to wrap it up, here's an overview of all the Nanite debug modes. Let's talk about the real-time illumination. Lumen is in charge of bouncing the light around the scene. Now, the first thing that we could do is I'm going to show you what happens if I take Lumen and I turn it off. So immediately what you see is that now we're not getting any of that bounce light. And actually in this scene, we only have one directional light that's coming over there from the sun. So that's the only light uh, that we're having in this scene. And then this light is bouncing on the sky towards the ground and then on the ground on itself. Let's turn that back on. So just as an example, we can see how, uh, just to put an example, this uh, bright rock over here, it's casting quite a lot of bounce light onto the central mandal broad. Or as another example, this metalized ground is also bouncing light all the way up uh, to this mandal broad base. So, how is Lumen doing this? Uh, the, the way the Lumen is managing to render all this indirect in real time is by combining a lot of different clever tricks. 
The way that the old Unreal ray tracing used to work was just brute force, hardware acceleration, RTX uh, ray tracing. And it was just trying to throw as many rays as it could and trying to do its best to denoise it. But Lumen is being a bit more sophisticated than that. Instead of doing all the ray tracing through the hardware, it's doing a combination of software ray tracing, hardware ray tracing and screen space ray tracing. And all of these is being ray traced using sign distance fields of the meshes. I've just turned off the anti-aliasing. So now you can see what the render is looking like with the temporal anti-aliasing turn off. And you can see especially on the edges, the highlights get very flickery and on the edges of the soft shadows, uh, they also get extremely noisy. But overall, not bad. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on again. If you download the demo, uh, I've added quite a few other debug or like visualizations that help you understand better how Lumen works. For instance, this is the Radiance Cache. So this is showing you all the all these tiny HDR maps, like IBL style uh, illumination maps that show you uh, what light is getting to this point in space. So it's basically like caching the radiance uh, of the scene. And let's turn off the lights. This is finally another uh, lighting scenario. So the one that we saw before, it only had like one directional light, uh, but this one has dozens and dozens of point lights scattered around, uh, in and around the meshes. And each of these point lines uh, is bouncing indirect light, indirect illumination around the scene. Uh, so this is just another example in a way more complex uh, light rig. Uh, and you can see how well Lumen is resolving all the illumination that's going uh, through the object and bouncing around the objects. Pretty stable result and pretty incredible frame rate. Well, this is it for today. I hope you've learned something and I hope you have as much fun playing with it as I had working on it. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.